Okay, hello everybody, Chromeboot here. How's everybody doing? Today, we got some awesome stuff for y'all. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I've made. So, I made some command block magic. Um, mainly for a single player module or multiplayer for survival vanilla. So, how this all works. Um, we have a few modules added here. So, the first one is a scarecrow. Which looks like that. Uh, can be crafted, as you can see, by adding a zombie head. Uh, sticks, we need an armor stand, and we need a slab. So we put a zombie head here, two sticks on the side, armor stand right there, and a stone slab right there. Now we stand on top of it, bam, and we have a spawn egg for the scarecrow. Uh, so, there we go. Scarecrow. So what does the Scarecrow do? Well, in a certain area around the Scarecrow, crops will grow significantly faster than they would normally. So if we set this all to weed stage zero, so um, just to show you the process, I've uh, set the um, replace uh, radius here to, if they grow to weed stage one, then they'll instantly grow. So we'll just have to wait. There's one, but that's not within the radius of the scarecrow. So what we can do to speed up the process is getting a planting bowl. As you can see, we like grows, and if we put this in our offhand, boom. As you can see. Instantly sets the weed to a certain growth stage, as you can see here. So if we walk over here, you can see that they'll grow to a certain stage. Uh, and as you can see, weed's quickly growing. So that's pretty cool. So that's the planting bowl. Uh, we also, if we do this, you can see it's very dry land currently. Now, to help us out, we have a watering can. And if we put this in our offhand as well, boom. It will set a certain radius around us to um, replace the dry farmland with with wet farmland. So that's pretty awesome as well. Now we have some more stuff. We're not done yet. <laughs> so we have the weed generator, which is eventually going to be the scarecrow, but uh, just to show you the process. Um, they're basically the same. I've just given this one a different tag. Now, when one of these seeds here grows to stage 7, meaning that they are full grown wheat, um, they will be replaced by air. Now, I can show you this. Boom. Something else that happened though the wheat that got created is sent over to the armor stand. So whenever I grow uh, a wheat uh, or a seed seedling, they will be teleported over here, and the block itself will be replaced by air. Now, why is this useful? So there are three wheat items right there. I have created something else. As you can see, this is a spawn receiver. Uh, it spawns a receiver. So what that means is literally it receives a signal. In this case from the weed generator. So uh, if we get a block very quickly and put the receiver on there you can see that the weed has teleported from there to here. So we can use this to basically create automatic weed farms. As you can see, there are now three weed in here. If we grow another one, there should be four in there now. Five. Oh, I'm picking them up. Oh, oh. Let's set this one to boom. Do some more seeds so we can not pick them up. That would be very great. Okay, there we go. Now there should be seven in there. And now there should be eight. 
See? So it teleports the items over and then you can use a hopper and automatic systems to basically create an automatic wheat farm this way. Another cool thing that we have is if we kill this armor stand, uh, that one right there, we have some other stuff for trees as well. So if we get a sapling, this currently only works with oak saplings just as they work with uh, wheat seeds only. If we throw these saplings on the ground, nothing happens. So I've created a module where basically if we get a spawn egg for the planter, put that right here. Every time a sapling drops within a certain radius, it will be auto-planted. Now why is this useful? Because you can basically create automatic tree farms this way. Because if you mine a certain tree, or if you mine a tree in general, so if we get some bone meal, there we go, just put a sapling over here, or even on the planter itself, that also works. Right, so we get this one, and delete the wood. Now the saplings will automatically drop, and it will replant itself. So basically we have an automatic tree farm going. So now we have to just wait for the sapling. And as you can see, it automatically plants the sapling that fell off the tree. Automatically planting another tree for you. So that is very useful. So we've got some extra stuff as well. For example, if you put down a cauldron and then build a block on top of it, doesn't matter which block, and then just drop on the cauldron itself, boom. You can see that it's now called Doubler. Now I'll delete this name eventually but it's more as an indication for me to see if it works or not. Uh, what this one does is basically if I drop in ores, uh, in this case for example an iron ore, if I place one on top, boom, it will double the outcome. There we go. Now this also works for dropping the item, so like right there, also works for dropping the item. And then eventually if I go through the whole stack, I have to drop them one by one though, so that's uh, an interesting one. And the cool thing here is that I can basically change um, the sort of level or uh, level it will ex the amount of experience that you need, for example, to use this item. And with that I mean like uh, if it's pre-game or end-game or whatever, I can change that. So yeah, that's an, that's an ore doubler. That's pretty damn awesome. Have we got something else? These are basically more kind of tests and stuff. Uh, I only got one sapling. Hmm. So that is pretty cool, so this is the automatic one, that's that. Uh, yeah, well that's about it for this video, so... If you have enjoyed this video, then feel free to leave a like, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff. Um, I just wanted to show you some progress that I made on these modules. And they're mostly going to be used for my own single player, uh, or multiplayer, LAN vanilla survival world because I I like playing Minecraft survival vanilla the problem is that there's a few things well a few there are actually quite a few that are quite boring uh, to do so yeah I'm trying to create a certain different ex kind of experience for myself and for my friends and that's why I've decided to start making these kind of modules so if you guys enjoyed these, then uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let me know. Hope you guys like them, and uh, have a good one. Peace.